Salutations, everyone. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I'm Lord Formand, and I'm here once again with Zach. Hello. And maybe some episode we will actually get to go somewhere or do something. But first, more dialogue. Which option are we going with? Uh, I think Lazelle. Speak. My ear is yours. She's more or less likely to not I'm get us killed. Yeah. Lazelle. She knows what to say. Within it lies the seed of Vlacket's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlacket's demise? Skakak! I should run you through for suggesting it. Uh, we talked about the person inside? If they have not yeah. said, they must have good reason, and I won't be the one to betray them. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally, protects you with their power. That very power will be the end of Vlacket's tyranny. The prism's tenant must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to character and a facial expression. I know. Crazy. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel. Together we will break our chains and be Vlacketh's slaves. No His longer. arms are bothering me. They look too long. The undying queen is my freedom. It is she they who are all like tall and lanky. No, his arms are bothering me more than everyone else's. Every last one, there is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify. See, it just it weird look. And kills the infected, nor does the Lich Queen glorify the ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness! You flood me with this... this heresy! I... I will hear no more of it. Mm, he speaks to the Zach Gith. You need to trust him. Do yeah. Wanna... I mean... Yeah. Everyone else approves. my life learned her words fought her battles yet she names me her Sherlock. your words carry truth well that was it a face turn yeah do not make me regret also super easy to make her turn on her entire family life and all her beliefs i thought she'd like attack us almost for that see his arms just look like triple jointed True. Yeah. Gear in you, sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. No expression once again. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. I should go. Vlacket's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazel. I, you know, they could have hardly made my character funnier to watch if they had tried. I, I just love, like, the stark differences between us. Oh like, my who God. wants to talk to us? <sighs> Lazel I'll again. To... I'll go uh, talk uh... to her. After all, I need some comedy after all this dialogue. Vlacketh cost seven crath crash head. Only in Vlacketh may we find light. Nope. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate, but they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. 
the root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. He sounds like a fascist dictator there. <laughs> I know. If tadpole purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. Well, that was sudden. Yeah. Uh. Which one do we want to do here? Obviously, it's about time you figured it. <laughs> no, I don't think that would go over well. Uh, who's the one in the prison? I don't know. I can't know, and that drives me mad. At first. I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Vos believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> yes. I'd like time to think. Now can we actually leave? Nope. Caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakit's eyes are upon us. <gasps> okay. Now can now we get out of go. here? Oh, wait, wait a second. Does Gale want to talk to us after all this? No. Good. No, he doesn't. Good. Get us out of here. Oh, no. More? No. Okay. You dreaming? No. Good. Oh. Finally, let's get out of this place. Oy, oy, oy. I suppose. I suppose it was the end of Act One. I think. I mean, it makes sense. Talk about expositional world building there a little bit. It wasn't too bad, but it was a lot. That was like what, thirty something minutes of cutscene almost. Yeah. Oh, so have you gotten to Act 2 before? No, I have not. This is my first time. Well, I, I will... just got the achievement for leaving Act 1. Well, I will have to let you take point then in some cases with our decisions, since I kind of know what's going on here. Okay, I will. The mighty Scathor will be the voice of the party. No, I'll I'll, I'll be the voice of the party <laughs> most of the time because I have better stats. But I'll let you pick the the uh, dialogue. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Oh, more cutscene. Cut this is no typical gloom. You need to stay alert. I like how things are loading in in the background. Oh, I I went in the other way. I never got this. Uh, are you the true soul? Uh, this is you. Who wants yeah. to know? Yeah, who wants to know? A yes. Listen up. Grab a torch. Stay out of the dark and move fast. The shadows have eyes. Go on. Okay. <laughs> before me. Uh, oh, Gail, Gail has an exclamation mark. Oh, oh no. Okay, talking to Gail. An audience with Elmin. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. An old man with a craving for cheese. Oddly, oh, the great wizard of legend. It was probably uh, just dissembling. A wizard doesn't reach Elminster's age without enjoying their home comforts. Those who seek danger over cheese don't tend to live as long. That's a good life lesson. Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer, or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. All right, we're getting philosophical now. <laughs> Ooh, he's not wrong. 
I'll leave you to your thoughts. Yeah, just leave him alone in his <laughs> kind of you to his quasi depression. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna want to be carrying torches. Shadowheart doesn't need one because she's got her light there. But you might want to swap on swap on your light, toggle your light source if you've got a torch. If not, there's one in that brazier. Uh, just equip it. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, under under the weapons there, you know how you do. Melee weapons, dual wielding range. There's one for toggle light source. Uh, it is. Oh, it doesn't have a number button. See it? It's next to your character profile. There's four blue buttons. It's the bottom right one. Oh, the. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, down there. You may not have. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Hopefully, Gale will stay close enough. He doesn't burn either. So, I don't actually. Let's put the map. Huh, I don't actually really know where we started. Huh. The other end well, the other entrance is more interesting. Do we want to go take that one? We're already here. <laughs> okay, let's go. Cut scene time in a moment, I believe. I can feel the shadow's power here, but they don't seem to be harming me. Nope, oh, time to talk to Shadowheart. The shadow curse. Seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. First time my I've been out of my element in the dark. Or do you want me to pick a different one? You gotta go with the underdark option. This is no cavern. This is true darkness. Perhaps Lady Shah will show you a path to her embrace if you are worthy. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, keep going. I got a uh, a guide to Baldur's Gate in the backpack. Really? Huh. Okay. Well, let's go to this camp. Oh. Yes. Camp time. Hey, boy. You want the bone? Fetch. Oh, that didn't work. Observe. <laughs> you see that blight echo? Swallowed all by the shadow curse. Bet he was pure tasty. You're the true soul we're taking to Moonrise, I'm guessing. Sure. <laughs> We kind of have a choice here. We can go with them, get to Moonrise easily, or we can turn on them and find another path to Moonrise, which has other dialogue options. And I mean, divergence. the gooder, the better path. I don't know which is better to do, so. <sighs> well, let's do. How do you plan on getting through the yeah, cursed darkness? Yeah, good start. Boss, you're in good hands. We've got a guide. Talk to Kansif inside. It'll run through it. Okay. So, we probably don't actually want to go do this right now. I mean, we can, but it doesn't really help us that much. It's actually easier if we go the other way. I'm not kidding. If we okay, want. Okay, then we can go the other way, I guess. Yeah. So, this way. So there's a lot of dangerous wildlife in this area. Mm -hmm. So we just got to be a bit cautious. Are we? The uh, north is that away. Eh? 
key point is that at some point, if we do this other path, I know we get immunity from the curse, at which point we don't have to wander around carrying torches. Oh, that would be nice to get. On the other hand, we just found clearly a slaughter. They can rest now. Plenty of loot if you want loot. I'll take a pair, thank you. Oh, here we go. Arrow of fire. I'll take it all, I guess, for now. These look like the uh, tieflings we saw back at the grove. They do. I'm pretty sure they are. Uh -huh. Too bad. Okay, I think this is the way we want to go, yeah. At some point, we're going to want to go in that barrier, but it's much easier if we go past it for now. All right. After this, we can kind of do what you want, but we really do want the immunity from the Shadow Curse. Makes life a lot easier. Don't touch the raven. I'm not. What Just, happens if I do, though? You will summon a massive flock of birds. You know... Cuckoos in Zelda? Yeah. Kind of similar con concept. Stay together. Keep to the light. Oh, you're in Yes. Oh, the Harpers. The Harpers, yes. Stop! Who's there? Uh my name is Fairwind. What do you want to do here? We don't want to do Nightmare in the Dark, I don't think. Yeah, my name is Fairwind. Who are you? Yes, come closer. Hands up. Succeeded some type of perce perception roll. Yeah, if you thought it was a horror movie opening, it is. I'm here. Where are you? Jonas? Can you see our torches? I can't see anything. Something's wrong. Follow my voice. Come back to the light. Who's there? Oh, jeez. Afraid poor Eunice is baiting. This is a trap. Jeez. Yeah. Beginning of a horror film much? Okay, we want to get up here pretty quickly. We are fighting Shadow. They have resistance to most everything. They're immune to necrotic. Uh, they're only vulnerable to really radiant. And they're invisible if they're not in torchlight or light somehow. Okay, games. I was really just thinking about it. Okay, my turn. Okay. So we really want to wipe everything out here if we can. As fast right. as we can. Oh man, my torch is my weapon that I had. 
That kind of sucks. Well, I got rid of one. You can always swap back to it uh, after a melee attack. Yeah. Yeah. Should I attack Harper Eunice? Uh, he's definitely one of the ones we want to take out at some point. So, yes. Yes. Oh, I rolled a nat 20 on this. Nice. I could do Luck of the Far Realm. Well, no. Hold on. The odds of you killing a guy with 47 is low. There we go. Got to press on. You rolled another nat 20? I think so. It <laughs> didn't say it's a crit. I think I just got like a 20 on, on the dice. Okay, that's another one down. So, cool thing about, because we did that side mission to get the mace, is that any fiends and undead standing nearby are blinded, which makes Shadowheart basically unkillable in this area. It's great. That's awesome. And there also can be shadows that do not appear in the combat queue until they attack, which is annoying. So should I switch to my greatsword again, or just leave the torch? Leave the torch, because otherwise you get shadow cursed on you. Also, Gale isn't in combat right now. Okay. Or, well, he's miles away, and if you hover over him, I believe he's affected by the shadow curse. Yeah. You take necrotic damage every turn. Doubles each turn you're affected. Oh, oh Gale is in combat, so... Yeah, he's just a ways away. Strength drain. Oh, joy. Okay, you need to get him up into your character's light at minimum. He's made... gonna dash. Yeah, I'd say so. Or does he have Misty Step? No. Dashing is just easier, I think. I hope we don't lose the Harper. We lost the Harper. Great. Not good. Uh... And that one only has one HP left. Uh, I can take it out. If you want to. I can just, uh, wait, uh, cancel in turn. I'll just stab it with my offhand. There we go. Uh, there's not really much I can do, I don't think. No, just move up towards the light, I'd say. I think they're all invisible at the moment. I suppose you could try and, like, shoot the brazier up here on the cliff. I don't know if that works. More light sources, no. the better. On the other I hand, I... moving away from Gale could be risk... Oh, you've already moved. Yeah, just stay there, I'd say. Because now you can go to your melee weapon. Oh, that's nice. They know exactly where the bad guys are. Yeah. And they're just running away. I thought they were like, their job it is to fight, but you know. It's unfortunate we lost the main Harper. Come on. We'll figure it out. There we go. Now it's Shadow Heart. Have to keep going. Cool thing is my sacred flame cantrip is actually really because <laughs> it doubles damage. Oh nice. Oh they're vulnerable to this. Problem is oh. these harpers. Yeah, these guys do hit hard. Oh, there's the damage on Gale. Or would have been. Okay, you got rid of the Shadow Curse here. I so. believe... Yeah, they are semi-immune to fire. It's only Radiant they're weak against, but fire still is decent. I only know where that one is there. Yeah, just hit it with a Firebolt gun. Or any any low level cantrip, you don't need much. Nice. 
now they get to come after us while invisible in the shadows, pretty much. Unless I can happen to find one by walking into the shadows. Ah. That helps. Ah. Cheesed the game a bit there. <laughs> <laughs> Once you know where it are, rapid swap weapon and shoot, you'll still hit them. That's funny. Oh, I can't do much, but I have my sword back up. Oh no. Really? This does this seem smart running into the darkness? Genius. Oh. Well we know where the bad guy is, so that's something. I suspect it's trying to calculate whether or not they're detected. <sighs> Aaron does again. Joy. Let's see. I'm curious. Uh, I can't hit that. I don't think we could hit them. We don't know where they are. Well, if I walk to here, uh, shedding light doesn't seem to reach. Well, I I could firebolt the brazier. Firebolt the brazier. That'll give us vision. There we go, nice. And then I will... Oh, too close. Uh, not enough movement to cast a spell? What? That's bizarre. That's odd. Oh well, nothing I can do. On the other hand, I can snipe. Victory! Victory! Of course, unfortunately, the others died, so let's see what happens. You've got some chops. More will be here soon. We need to go. There's a place nearby. All right, lead the way. Keep close. Avoid the shadows. Okay. So we can loot Thank you. stuff. I wouldn't have made it without your help. We need to get out of here. Oh, I guess that was the second priority one, because the main person Harper let. Landra died, so... Yeah. There's not a lot of loot in these stuff. There's some armor and weapons, but that's what we wanted to do, was that fight. But listen, I now have a cape. You now have a cape? I do. Is it a good cape? Nope, it's just literally a cape. Oh, okay. I'm heading back to that bridge we didn't cross there, with near that barrier. Oh, we have to equip the torch again. Yep. And not click on the raven. I'm very tempted. Let's click on the raven once we get rid of the shadow curse on us. This place okay. is protected. You might find allies here, or at least supplies. No shadows here. Something must be keeping it at bay. I'll equip my sword now that we're back. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy. She's with me. The character's legs look so weird in those pants. Come. <laughs> I just didn't realize how weird they look. Jahira. Looks like I'm walking on stilts. Well, that's always a good sign. Uh. <laughs> I wish people would simply say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> this is didn't say hello, now die. I save your soldiers, and this is the thanks I get. Kindness is too often a decoy. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here. 
your true soul. Look to the Harpers you save. Stop! What's she doing? She's the one who saved us! She's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved two of my friends. One from a harpy, and one from a mad druid with a snake. I'd pretty much trust her with my life. Weren't you the one that kicked us out of their hideout? <laughs> yes. How is that possible? No answer to the question? There we go. I don't think we want to show the artifact. I work in mysterious ways. Enlighten me. <laughs> now. Uh, do I want to try a charisma roll or do I want to show the artifact? I mean, I don't know. I mean, could Shoy okay, really I'll make a backup her? save. Let's try the charisma roll. We were okay. told not to show the artifact to anybody. And of course, we get the shadow heart. Oh, it's a 21. Mm. 19. Nope. Failure. Let's see what happens. Not good enough. Okay. Well, fine. Here. Oh, it just exploded. What in the hell is that thing? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Hmm. Strangest magic I've seen since roaming the ruins of Mithdranor. But I can't argue with the results. Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Yeah, I had a facial expression. Me, Incredible. Why have you come here? Uh... Want a cure for the parasite in my head, maybe? Which one? I'm here on yeah. holiday! <laughs> <laughs> Our interests align. We must all cure ourselves. Of the entire cult of the Absolute. There's food in the inn over there. Beds, too, if you require rest. Elo oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Okay, and we've gone right. way over time. So let's stop here and we'll explore this All place right. next episode. Bye for now.